The Ripperverse returns here today. We are talking about one of the coolest heroes or anti-heroes. Gosh, I don't know. And that's the whole point. We're going to talk about Yaira uh, <laughs> from the Ripperverse comic today. And very excited here on Two Geeks and a Microphone. <laughs> Welcome to the Two Geeks in a Microphone podcast, your one-stop shop for television, movie, video games, comic books, book reviews, and more. Now, without further ado, here's Stephen and Mike. That would be me, everybody. Good morning to you. Welcome to Two Geeks and a Microphone. I am your co-host, Mr. Stephen Boster, along with the one, the only, the most illustrious, Mr. Michael Shanks. Mike, say hey to everybody, please. Good morning to all you geeks out there in Geek Land. I just had a dog burst in on me. That's all right. <laughs> As you were uh, as you were uh, giving your intro there, the door flew open, and here comes my dog. She's down here laying by my feet. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. So <laughs> yeah, until she starts barking and wants to put her voice on it. <laughs> yep. Well, I I am very excited about today's show, everybody, and we are looking to we're going to get some feedback from you guys on a couple of things. We're kind of excited about sharing some really cool stuff. I can't wait, but it's not my story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> but so with that, we're just going to jump in because we got an action packed, jam packed crazy packed show today and uh i'm looking forward to it so uh shall we get started with our i, I almost want to do do we want to say news or geek dar first well let, let's let's do the news because i do have a news item um okay yeah yeah let's do the news first All right, so it's all right. I looked for something like that and I couldn't find anything. <laughs> anyway, that was the best I could find, and I, I like that one. It's kind of gives me that old school news thing, and I, I enjoy that. Uh, it takes me back to the 80s, my era. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so um, no, I did have some news, and this is uh, Ripperverse related. So, oh, uh, yes. Thursday, uh, Eric July announced that they will ha be having their yearly five dollar sale. Five dollars, <laughs> boy! You know, I miss I miss uh, Subway's five dollar foot long, long right? <laughs> now it's more like fifteen dollar foot long, <laughs> yeah, twelve dollar whatever. Anyway, no, but uh, Eric July and the Ripperverse are having a big. $5 sale. They got lots of items on sale right now, including uh, Isom 1 and 2. So if you have not been able to get started in the Ripperverse, this is an awesome time to do it. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. If you yes. go to Actually, store. Yep. And it should have been right there on the front page. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Um. Shop all. Is it under special collections this time? No. I, go back to the front page, and uh, under the the dots there, there should be one for the five dollar sale. Oh wait, did you find it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is the sale page. So item okay. two, you can get yeah, for five dollars. Which yep. my favorite color is my favorite cover in there. Yes. Uh, which is actually um, the standard one. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it is. I love that cover. I do too. I think it's the best of the of the four. Um, and then that one, I can't see. Poster. Oh, Alpha Alpha Core there's is there. Alpha Core. Number Looks one. like you can get all well five fifty because they're still doing some of the Alpha Cores. Right. Here's a poster. Yep. A Yaira one. poster is available. Two Yaira posters are available. Yeah. 
Um, three. Yeah, it looks like three. Well, this one's the women. Uh, oh, that's the women of the Ripperverse. Ladies of the Ripperverse, which is great because you see Blood Ruth. Right. Uh, Yaira. Um, yeah. And I can't. There's still more. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's another Alpha Core poster. Isom. I have some that's, fighting that's, poster for five bucks. Yep. There's all kinds of stuff on sale. Everybody, we're just letting everybody know that they've already sold like what five thousand items or something crazy. Ooh, like I that. like the Blood Ruth poster. That's cool. Yeah, that is a good one. Really cool. And oh. I bought myself a couple t-shirts. Of course, I'm wearing the, the Ira t-shirt right there. Nice. Yeah. 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 And then, and then they got the the Ripaverse logo shirt, which I also bought that one earlier. Um, Alpha Core, Ra- Raxwell. Yep. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Can't load. We're having loading issues, everybody. Let's try that again. La, 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 maybe la, 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 maybe la, la. everybody's oh, hitting the site oh, so there's hard. A Blood Ruth shirt. Yes, I I ordered the Blood Ruth. And that Isom shirt right there. Which one? This one? Wonderful. Yes, that one. The Catch Street one. Nice. It's, I would have ordered the other Isom, but he's only got it in that tan, and I don't like that color. I yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, well, I have it. Today's my day to kind of take a look at the sale. So thanks for giving me an opportunity to go to see. Well, I think I'm, you got order. another, like, five days. So. Well, I, I want to let everybody know that they have also stated that some items are limited because they only have limited quantities. Right. So the sooner the better um, on those. If everybody, if you haven't realized it, we are big Ripaverse fans. We <laughs> love the Ripaverse. We have every single comic. Uh, I have not yet ordered my uh, uh, issue two of the magazine, Rip- the Ripaverse magazine. I kind of want to do it all together with other things. So this was a perfect opportunity to do so. Well, I'm waiting for the next release. I believe the next release will be uh horseman and, uh, which I'm really excited. About. Was, yeah. Cause yeah. I'm a big Batman fan. He kind of looks like a Batman type character. Right. Yeah. So, well, I mean the description of him even kind of sounds like Batman. So I'm excited about that one. Um, and I figure when, when they release that one, one for sale, then I'll probably order my Ripazine too. Also, um, and then I think Blood Ruth will be after Horseman, I believe, which okay. is penned by the Soska sisters who penned Yaira, and I'm looking forward yes. to that. Yes, yes. yes. So, and do you, yeah, and uh, I'm excited. You want to tell everybody that what may be coming? We're still working on that. You are working on to doing a great job, by the way. Yes. Um, so for the, for the next thing we have and oh I no, no, I was talking about, I was talking about our special guests that we may have join us that we don't know when. Yet. Oh, oh, uh, I, well, see, I haven't got a date nailed down, so I'm okay. I'm a little hesitant to say yet, but yes, okay. we're working on a special guest. Um, from the Ripaverse. Right. From is, the Ripaverse. Is all we're going to say. We're going to tease it. Okay. Bye, yeah, bad. I'm, Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. It, it, um, they are from the Ripaverse. So that's all I will say. That's right. Uh, Ca- Caro, uh, Eric's uh, personal assistant, and I have been emailing back and forth for uh, almost three months now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I... I'm probably borderline stalking her at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's hard if you're listening. I don't mean to be. Right. <laughs> I don't mean to be annoying. I apologize. I just really want to get this guest, the yeah. you know, this guest on, and uh, I'm looking forward to them. And I would love to announce it, but until I get a date, I don't want to announce it. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So next up for bids, then. All right. Next coming up, I. I I think this falls still under geeky news, don't you? Uh, yeah. All right. So Stephen and I have been uh, playing around with for for what six seven months now. Oh uh, well, gosh, maybe a year I, now. I don't know. It's no. We're talking. Well, I started a year and a half ago learning about AI. Right. And then when we first did our first story, it was probably about a year ago. Okay. 
So yeah, we started, I think with, uh, one of our, what if stories, what if, uh, yes, we, we did. If they were inquisitors, we did. Oh, they, if Mar Jade was an inquisitor, an inquisitor. we did right. uh, Star Killer as an inquisitor, I think. Yes, yes, and so that was our first uh, dive into AI writing, quote unquote. And we've been playing with it ever since then. And both Stephen and I have come up with some ideas for some books. And uh, I finished editing my first one. And we will give a partial reveal of the book cover. So here it is. The Immortality Code. Rewriting the Rules of Life and Death. And uh, that is a partial book cover. So um, we'll reveal the full book on on Kofi to our Kofi subscribers. So or the full book cover. So if you are a Kofi subscriber uh, later today, you'll be able to see the full book cover because we'll post yeah. it over there. And then we'll show everybody next week. But for our yeah. Kofi subscribers, we give them first. Yeah, first this is little, this <laughs> is. So, and I'm hoping to have this actually released by October. That's that's my end goal is October. I don't have a hard date set. Steve and I will discuss that later today, probably. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah, we're pretty excited about it. So. Yeah. 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 Oh. Cause now we're, we're new to this whole e publishing and indie publishing and e publishing kind of framework, but you were, we, we will be working primarily through Amazon, uh, just to let everybody know, and where you can get physical copies if you want, kind of a thing, or an e copy kind of a thing. So we're, we're getting all that figured out and learning how to do that and having a great time. I mean, just, oh, yeah. I, I, it's been fun, everybody, just to talk to Mike and and sit there and go, okay, where are you at with your story? And okay, and and and, <laughs> and so he, I was the bad guy, everybody, because I was like, okay, now that you finished it, now you got to edit it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh God, editing is not fun either. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm a, it, it is a uh, it is an arduous ar arduous arduous. I don't know, whatever the word That's, is. I'm I'll like, go with that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Task. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Very much. So. I've been editing for a couple of weeks and yeah, I'm, I'm tired of it. <laughs> right. A lot of, a lot of authors will, they'll, they'll always do their edits and, and some do a bunch of edits. Some people just do one edit or one pass through. Look, we are just having a good time learning and we're getting better, but I'm excited about Mike's story. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to say anything about it. That's your, I'll let you do that when the time comes. And uh, when once we get it where it's officially released, we'll let everybody know and he'll give some teasers and stuff and we'll go from there. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe, maybe next week we'll give the synopsis along with. The okay. Full cover. All right. Cool. That was weird. I just heard weird music playing. I don't know what it was. All right. We ready to move on to our geek. Dar? Yes, we are. Let's do this. Throw with the radar, sir. What's wrong with it? I've lost the bleeps, I've lost the sweeps, and I've lost the creeps. The what? The what? And the what? You know. The bleeps. <laughs> the sweeps. <laughs> and the creeps. <laughs> That's not all he's lost. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I, I got to give props to... Um, uh, uh, Corey at uh, Wookiees Movies and More uh, okay. YouTube channel. The other last week uh, after our show, they did. He was on with a whole bunch of other YouTube creators, and they were talking about their favorite horror movies from 2010 to present. And I was like, okay, you know, and I, everybody, you guys know, I've been trying to figure out a way to do this, you know, ex pastor watches horror movies segment for us for the two geeks and stuff. So I thought, oh, I'll watch this to get good ideas. And I was chatting with them in the chat and stuff. Well, there was a movie that like three or four of them said was in their top three kind of a thing. And I thought, oh, well, and it was this one. It was called Your Next. And Ooh. it's from 2011 and they were all like, oh yeah, it's a really good movie and stuff like that. So, so I, 
I, it's on Pluto for free. And so I'll watch it on Pluto for free. And <laughs> lo and behold, I started watching it. And then uh, my wife Kelly comes in. She's like, what are you watching? And I'm like, yeah, it's this horror movie. And I told her the same story. And she, so she sat down with me and we both enjoyed it. Oh, it, wow. It was really, it really was not a bad, I mean, it's, it's a horror movie kind of a thing. The ending was, was the, excuse me, the beginning was weird. Uh, and just because it was like this, it didn't, it, it just came out of nowhere. It was kind of, it wanted to give you that scary moment, you know, this first murder scene kind of a thing. And, um, but it's, it's, it's kind of out of place, but then later on you kind of figure out kind of what's happened or what's going on kind of a thing with it. And, uh, but once you get past that, that first beginning point, there's this family, they're all coming together for the parents uh kind of it's their wedding anniversary and they're all coming together to celebrate all the kids and together well lo and behold all of a sudden someone's outside and and they're starting to kill everybody one by one kind of a thing and so i don't want to give too much away but i will say this you first think it's only one person but then it ends up there's actually it's not just one person who's killing and then you're trying to figure out what's going on, who's behind it. Well, one of the sons brings his girlfriend, um, and you don't know a whole lot of about her backstory, but right. she's the greatest surprise in the whole thing because she, you you find out. Uh, I don't want to ruin it, but but her character is great. She ends up being the the heroine of the story, and you and it's just really is it's actually really good. It's, is that it like is a, a good bear? on the cover so it's a mask um okay. and there's different in you and what you'll notice is for each killer there's a different uh, animal mask oh because i was like going, at first i thought it was just one and i'm like well wait a minute well i think that's a different mask it's got some great jump gears in it that cool. are part of it um great <laughs> interesting ways people get killed <laughs> kind of a thing too as well um, but it does develop into your first, like, oh, it's just a hack and slash. But then you realize it really starts moving into a story with some interesting twists. And one twist turns into another twist. And the heroine's backstory is a twist, and um, which is a good, good twist. And then, um, and then at the end, there's another twist. So it's, it's, it was it was good storytelling actually for a horror movie kind of a thing. You thought, oh, it's just gonna be hack and slash. You're like, ah, but then it got, oh, oh, there is actually some depth in this. So it takes it a little bit to get going. Highly recommend it. And this was um, in your top three? This was in this was in Corey, like Corey and um with Wilkie's movies and music on his show with a whole bunch of other people it's a great episode if, if you guys want to go watch it it's long uh because they're all taking turns and there's a bunch of them and they don't just one turn they 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 have like a stack you know there's there's one guy gosh what was his name he had a whole bunch of like dvd he's all about physical media he tells this story too about it and i don't blame him and uh but he's like oh yeah and he goes and if there's not a if there's not a it's so funny if there's not a really produced version like if there's an actual dvd that was ever made of a movie he goes oh i bootleg them <laughs> he goes but he goes if they do come out with a physical copy he goes you buy the physical copy when it comes out <laughs> right right that's funny that's funny all right that's that's my that's my thanks for letting me rent there for a minute because it was it was a lot of fun and um and it, it was oh shoot go ahead i'm sorry I just oh, had no. a, it. Was good. Go ahead. Uh, well, um, all right. Mine, I was going to have Megan show it, but her camera's not working for some weird reason. <laughs> so I guess oh, she no. can't show it. <laughs> That's funny um, because mine's got green on it. So, um, all right. So for mine, since it is a rip averse theme today, we're going to stick with the rip averse theme. And yep. uh, since we were oh, hey. last week. Yes. Give me just one more. I'm so sorry. Um, no Wilkie's in the Wilkie's in the oh there he is in the house Wilkie thanks for joining us I was just telling we were watching your uh your show on where it had everybody with you um and uh a whole bunch of folks and you were talking about favorite horror movies and how everybody really liked uh your next and because of that I watched it with my wife and we had a blast 
Oh yeah. He said, glad you had a fun time with it. I sure did. It was a great episode. You with all the other folks, just sharing your guys' stories and stuff. I really enjoyed that night. Um, you guys doing the horror movie thing. So thank you. Very cool. Uh, Contagious Punk reminds me of Scream Mysterious. It kind of is. It kind of is kind of not. I mean, that someone's getting killed. They're all in a house kind of a thing. Um, Sounds like a similar theme. It's yeah. a similar theme, but it's a different premise. And it's and it's and it's really good. I mean, um, the way you described it, it almost sounds like uh, what was the Christmas horror we watched uh, last year? Uh, Which one? The really bad one? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that one. <laughs> the uh, werewolf Santa one? No, no. It kind of reminds me of Krampus, the way you described it. Oh, so, Krampus. Krampus was such a good one, too. Yeah. Krampus was good. I like that one. Yeah. Um, of course, Who knew my... I'd start getting into all these horror movies? Gosh, you guys are a bad influence on this ex-pastor. Just saying. Well, my, my top and my number one in the last 10 years is going to be halloween 2018 but <laughs> that's, that's me that's just me. Uh, there, there's one for wilkie uh, i i put in 2000 uh halloween 2018 for mine nice um, anyway so my my uh geeked are uh sticking with the rip reverse theme and since we we took the week off last week since steven went camping um which i'll be doing here in about a month and i can't wait yeah. uh anyway um i got gooding the latest Ripazine comic book, uh, Gooding the Polymath. I have not read it yet, but I've cracked it open, checked out the artwork. Oh, yeah. Different covers. Yeah, different covers. Actually, here, let me see if I can do this. I went with the cheap one again. I'm the cheap guy. <laughs> this one was nice. the this one, Yeah. That's a good cover. That's a good cover. All right. So I got that. And then I also got Ripazine Ooh. number one. Which Stephen had gotten a couple weeks ago, yeah. Uh, and I, I've looked through this. I really, really enjoyed Ripazine One. This was mm-hmm. great. Uh, it takes me back to the the old days when we were kids, and the internet was uh, magazines for us. You know, that's yep. where we got all of our information on upcoming comic books, upcoming music, uh, upcoming mm-hmm. movies. That's where we got the behind the scenes. You know, all that stuff that you get on the internet, we had to go and either purchase uh, at a store and read it or go into the store and read as much as we can, you know, while we're standing there in the store. Right. (laughs) That's so true. That's so true. (laughs) Can't afford to buy the the magazine, but I want to read this article. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Which really did happen several different times. It's also where yeah. we got posters and stuff, but yeah, the Ripazine ver, uh, Ripazine number one is really good. There's uh, what three different um, interviews in it, uh, and each one is done by the Soska sisters, which I found interesting that they seem to be doing the interviews for the for the magazine. Magazine um, gave us a new look at a new character that will probably get his own book, uh, which I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, Gave us a behind the scenes on uh, on coloring a comic book page, which I thought was really neat. You could actually download the PDFs for it and, and actually practice yourself. Um, you could use Photoshop or whatever uh, you know illustration software that you have that that might work with it. Um, I thought that was really cool. Uh, a lot of neat stuff. My only complaint was. You need to have like a pinup in it, you know, like the old, old magazines and stuff have some kind oh, of. Oh yeah, that, that so you have, that in the center page, there's a poster yeah. you can pull out and put up. Right. That that would be my only oh, suggestion. Great idea. Now he may have done that because there was two different versions of the Repazine. He's got the like special edition one, mm-hmm. maybe the special edition one. I don't know. Um, but that would, that would be my only, uh, critique of, of the magazine. I, I think there should be some kind of pinup I, post. You know? I'm getting ready to order the second one. Um, like I said earlier, um, so I, I enjoyed, I think it's great. I think it's fabulous. I mean, anybody who's, if you're just curious about the rip, oh, yeah. well, right now they got the $5 sale. So you can really, you know, you can really right. take some, you know, ice them to just for that one for five bucks is so worth it. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. I, I would highly recommend checking that out. But yeah, the Ripazine is a great way to 
jump into the Ripiverse and and learn more about the entire rip is a rip of verse. It's yep. getting hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> rip is really? the, 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 uh, Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all I got for geek. Are you ready to move on to? Yeah, the- we're already talking rip verse. Let's keep it going. All right. Let's do the main event. It's time for the main event. Seeing me mouthing your 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 so, main. <laughs> I know, I love it, I love it. So here is uh, nobody for anybody. He's a fan oh. of Reverse. Welcome, welcome. Nice. Glad to have you here with us. We mm-hmm. are huge fans of the Reverse. Um, Eric mm-hmm. is awesome. I love his stuff. I love his. Yep. His motto, his, putting the customer first. Um, yep. Yeah. Which, every, good stuff. Yeah, which is at the front of every book he does. So where he has the Ripiverse ethic, and he talks about respect for the customer, canon and continuity, and then having a comprehensive timeline. Yes. Very good. Yeah. I like. I could make that bigger, I guess. It could be. <laughs> here, here. You uh, speak me bigger. I know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So here is the Yaira comic. Um, Mike, do you kind of want to give a synopsis of kind of the book itself? And then we can, I don't know what else we want to say. I mean, we can do our rating for it, but. So Yaira is a different character so far for the uh, Ripiverse. Um, I think she's the only one with, I mean, really big superpowers so far. Uh, obviously Isom has some superpowers, you know, he's, he's got enhanced strength and, and enhanced skills and such, but, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I was the only one we've seen who's really had, you know, like these freeze powers and, 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 and flight and well, uh, Alpha she's, Court has flight too. Yeah. But, but, um, yeah, I'd say right now at the moment, she's probably the most powerful character in the Ripperverse I, universe. Yeah. I would agree. I, that's how, that's the feeling I got out of reading this. Yes. And she is otherworldly, which I really like. So we, we got our first uh, delve into an alien universe in the Ripperverse. I mean, there's been some. Oh, well hits. stated. Yeah. yeah. Um, that makes me excited. There's, you know, there's almost a sort of Superman, Supergirl feel to this in a way. Um, cause of the strength, mm-hmm. uh, and the fact that she's otherworldly, um, mm-hmm. and coming to this world and pretty much accepting the earth, uh, earth as her new world, um, and, and adopting the earth as protecting it too. Um, mm-hmm. so I take it. She is a hero. It does not really. It's a tough yeah, one. I, it kind of leaves asking. you open. Yeah. You, you're not sure who she is, even by the end of this, you know, well, uh, the, the biggest thing is she realized she had the, the reason it's such a question is, you know, you see, we, we saw her introduced in ISOM and along with alpha core and that, you yes. know, they're like, Oh, we're going to arrest you. How dare you? You know, kind of a thing and stuff. And she's like, just leave me alone, you know, kind of a thing. But then and yet she has no qualms about fighting. I, I mean, Live oh, no. or die. She has no qualms, but she has a moral code. Well, and she doesn't that, have the Batman moral code. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have the Batman moral code. That is correct. But there is a sense you're trying to understand who she is in the story. And I, I'm not going to do any spoilers as much as I can. Um, but you are trying to figure out who she is, what that code is. You can tell there's something about her. She's wanting to help humanity, but at the same time, she's, you're like, she's no holds barred. She doesn't hold back. No, kind of a thing. And, but yet she's, she's protective over herself and who she is. She's trying to kind of keep that hidden. You know, she doesn't want no one to know her, her mm-hmm. identity and so on and so forth. So in that sense, I kind of think she's similar to Clark Kent, Superman, uh, and, yeah, and what, you got the whole glasses and everything too. You know, oh, I'll put on these. Yeah, glasses. you do. I forgot about that. <laughs> and I'm like, no one recognizes me because I have these. You glasses know, on. I, I'm like, really? I think her look. I think her look is quite different, though, from her. Uh, you know, her 
her superhero look to to her everyday look. I think it's a little little more extreme than Clark. But you know, there have been some really good explanations between for the Clark Kent uh uh um disguise. Um okay. and, and go back and watch some of the stuff. I I there's some there's some stuff about especially about the Christopher Reeve version of Superman and and his comparison of him as Clark Kent versus him as Superman. And uh-huh. yeah, there's some really good stuff in there about why people do not recognize him. And you would actually be surprised at uh, other people that people don't recognize who, you know, didn't even disguise themselves. So on and so forth. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, this isn't about Superman. This is about Yara. <laughs> Yara. But there are some parallels. I think that's re- insightful on your part that there is an otherworldly individual super strength, super abilities, you know, who can fly, who, but I, I like where she has this whole ice power type thing as well. I do too. I do too. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is a good comment. So um, our friend, nobody for anybody <laughs> says, I think nor nor Africa are maybe on par with Yaira. Oh, that's a good statement. So there's a, there is another character that is in, introduced in this book, nor Africa. Actually, they may have been introduced earlier. If I can't remember, were they introduced in Isom? Correct me if I'm wrong. Nobody for anybody. Um, I think they may have been introduced in Isom, but uh, yeah, you're right. He, he might be on par with Yaira. Hmm. Yeah, there's all yep, kinds Isom of one. That's what I thought. Is uh, Isom one? Ah, thank you. I think he's in the band. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Isom one. I think he was that's what I thought too. I was like, I think he was in the band that was at that was introduced at Isom one. So nice. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Well, um, there are what's your, what was your favorite part of the book? I mean, what did you like best about oh yeah, well I I loved it when when the oh, it's hard to say without giving away too many spoilers. Um, well, we already said that she's she's otherworldly, so we know that she's come she's come from another planet. Yeah. Um, there, there's also a comparison to the Teen Titans um, Starfire in, in a way because Starfire comes to Earth and she's being hunted down by her people. Yaira is very similar. She's being hunted down by her people also. However, yeah. there's a the different whole story yet. <laughs> yeah. We don't know the whole story. They're, they're, they're doing a good job at teasing the entire story of Yaira. I like it. And they're, you know, they're spreading it out over different books and, and not revealing everything right away. And I, I mm-hmm. think that's good storytelling. I enjoy that. Um, oh yes. He confirmed it. He said it was the band at the end of ice. Okay. One. Okay. Um, excuse me. But yeah, I like how her people are hunting her down. Uh, very similar to to Starfire. I, I it sounds like it sounds like he's you know like like the Ripper versus trying to rip off other companies, but they're not. The, this is a totally different story. It just has some similar beats. You know, all's fair in love and war, right? <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh yes, there is a class system there. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And that's similar to uh Starfire too. There's a class system where she's from. Now, yep, there well, the backwards is actually isn't that actually Eric's band? I think that's Eric's band, because that's Eric right there. Yeah, there's the Yaira will return. But yeah, keep flipping back. No, no, go go back. There is a band that plays at the end of the story. Yes, right there. There they are. North Africa. North Africa. There's North- no A in there. North Africa. Okay. North- <laughs> I'll figure out how to say it one of these days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sam's on. Hello, Sam. Hey, Sam. And yes, uh, North was confirming that he was confirming that that the band at the end is Eric July's band. So which Eric had a band before he started a comic book company. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm excited about that one. OK. Oh, 
So Sam says, just got here. What do you guys give the book out of 10 out of 10? Oh, okay. we have not given our score. Thank you, Sam. We haven't, we haven't given we our have score not. yet. Let's do that. Um, uh, what do we use for a scale on Yaira? Uh, let's use her her ice bolt. I power. love it. Okay, so icicles, ice, icicles. There we go. Icicle. <laughs> I like icicles. That'll work. Um, and I think I think your cover is the cover art that's that the the uh, statue the is, the statue is based mm-hmm. off. Of. I think so too. Yeah. That's a beautiful statue, but I don't have 500 bucks to shell out. Oh, my goodness. Right. (laughs) Right. I mean, if Eric would like to send me one, (laughs) I wouldn't turn it down. (laughs) You're so funny. (laughs) Just saying. I mean, yeah. All right. Right. Uh, Our score. One uh, one being the worst, 10 being the most awesome. Um, So far, I got to say, I think this is my favorite book out there for first. Um, uh, really digging Yaira. I, I like her. Uh, okay. She she is. I've I've been intrigued with her character since her introduction in Ice and One. I've wanted to yes. know. Yes, you know, have. I can confirm that. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. <laughs> that is true. Can I get a witness? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and I I gotta say I I think they paid off really well in this book introducing her. Um, and still leaving a lot of mystery behind her to tell later. Again, great storytelling, very good storytelling. Um, I like the characters that they're developing in this. Each book has had excellent world building in it. And, and mm-hmm. this is no exception to, to any of them for sure. Yeah. Um, I think it's important to note that this one is written. Can you see it on there? Yes. By the Soka sisters. Yes. And um, the uh, I, I will confirm the storytelling. Continue on. I'm sorry. I interrupted. Go ahead. Okay. No, no, no problem. So with all that taken in consideration, I would give Yaira a 9 out of 10. I definitely. Okay. Nine, nine out of 10. Um, it is by far my favorite. So far, my favorite book in the Ripperverse. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice. So nine out of ten. Mm-hmm. Nine out of ten icicles. Okay. So or ice blasts. Um he I I can confirm that it is a fabulous book. I will agree that it is my favorite out of the books thus far. Um and part of it is this is a jam packed book. Not saying that the other ones weren't, but comparatively speaking, this one has just introductions of so many characters in it it doesn't stop once it starts it doesn't stop i mean it just keeps going and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and every next thing is introducing some incredible world building but it's all contained within the story and um so yes nine out of ten sam uh so uh wait a minute is that your score sam is that yours yeah that's what i was oh wow interesting nobody that's not that's not a bad score but so that's interesting i'm intrigued but he gives it a seven out of ten nice that we've got some great world building of of the alien verse within the ripaverse you were talking about we've got um the introduction of power levels i think uh it is is brought in here um the 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 or I'm, I'm trying i'm pausing everybody because i'm trying not to give anything away so but you're getting more of her backstory uh not all of it because there's still more and then it kind of introduces something at the very end and you're like oh you know where she gets her this suit kind of a thing and uh sam's confirming that that was not his score so ah uh, yeah no no i'm no, no curious problem, I am curious of what Sam's score is, though. <clears throat> right. Uh, ready for anybody said he read all of it. Awesome. <laughs> kind of a thing. So uh, I I would say um, for me, is it worth buying? Yes. 
I, absolutely. Um, because the art is fantastic. I, I'll show a little bit of art here in a minute. Um, um, but I, I just, the, it's just good storytelling. I can't wait for the second one. I wanted more. Oh, and yeah. that to me was, was a good sign. And um, just going through the, through the book, you got action, you got intrigue. You're like, you're asking questions within it going, okay, how did this come about? It wasn't, it wasn't asking questions like, well, where did this come from? You know, kind of, it wasn't that kind of question when reading it, you're going, Oh, how did that happen? Oh, you know, what's going to be, I can't fun. wait to get more. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. You haven't given your score yet. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, uh, I, I you can't wait to get more of the world. I mean, it introduced so much of a little snippets and curiosities of, of, Wait a minute. Who is this person, and and why did they do this, and where are they from, and and what what's going on there? And, and but they did a great job of encapsulating the story, yet creating so many questions that didn't deter from the story, but made you want more. Um, I'm I am totally up to saying that it is it is my favorite out of the books, and I would also give it a nine out of ten. Nice. It's a great introduction. Great introduction. So nine out of ten icicle power blasts. Nice, <laughs> nice. I love it. So Sam says he hasn't got the book yet. Um, was just trying to give it, give us a thumbs up for giving it a good score. That's, that's yeah, it. I appreciate that, Sam. Thank you. So I, much. I highly recommend this book, Sam. It's it's it is good. It is so good. Um, yeah, I guess I'm biased because I you know already said it's it's my favorite so far out of the river you've been interested in it since day one since i have a nice and one and you're like oh my goodness who is this you know kind of a thing and well you get that whole scene of her you know uh uh throwing isom down and and mm -hmm. then that's it that's all we get and yeah. she throws him into the car which we got we got the live action version of that in in, in the uh preview for this for this book and, and then we mm -hmm. also got an animated version of it, which was really cool. And then that scene also got repeated in the book, um, you know, just as a kind of a, a throwback uh, or uh, uh, just a look back at who, who I, who, who Yaira is and where she came from, or, you know, where she started in the, mm -hmm. in the I reverse, uh, in the I reverse, in the rip reverse. Um, I'm already changing rip reverse to the I reverse. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a yai reverse inside the rip reverse, sort of kind of. Well, like, yeah, I guess so. But yeah, um, I, I think the Soska sisters would be happy with that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to though uh, where we can get to a point where Yaira could team up with somebody within in the rip reverse. That's that's what I'm looking forward to. Mm hmm. I, I, you know, there's so much intertwined within this world um, that absolutely we should see it, be seeing it kind of a thing. So, you know, you bring up a good point there. There's so much intertwined. Everything happens within what's the name of the town? Floor, floor, floor spark, floor spark, Texas. So. Is it getting too big for floor spark, Texas? <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I do think it, he's just setting up a world and setting up a location and I would see where they would kind of, uh, kind of, uh, how shall I say, um, expand that world, but they're starting off small and stuff. She's kind of solo only right now. I agree because there's yeah. a comment made in this comic where this one person references, you don't like working with others, do you? Or, or you're not used to working with others kind of a thing. So agreed. Uh, nobody for anybody said she's kind of solo only right now. And that's true. That is totally true. Um, but I got a feeling eventually she will at some point team up with somebody within the the Ripaverse universe, whether it be Alpha Core or whether it be Isom. I think right now Isom would probably be the best team up possibility for her, uh, considering Alpha Core's trying to hunt her down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I almost said a spoiler. So yeah. Correct. They are hunting her down. <laughs> All right. Sam, thank you so much yes, for joining. Thank us. you for joining us, Sam. It's probably time for Sam to go to bed. So good night, yep. Sam. <laughs> Good night, Sam. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate you, man. Uh, 
Oh, nobody for anybody said no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not sure what he's no knowing about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, I would like to know uh, nobody for anybody. Um, hey, there's Megan. <laughs> Her camera started working again. Um, uh, sorry, we were having troubles with Megan's camera earlier. It wouldn't work. And now all of a sudden she popped on. Um, I am curious, uh, no, for anybody, have you read all of the Ripaverse books? And which, if you have, which one is your favorite so far? Because you gave oh, Ira a seven know. out of out of ten. So I'm I'm curious. I'm gonna guess, just guess. That's probably Isom. Probably, I don't know, but that's just my guess of what may be your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> never, <laughs> never forget. Isom dropped on his head. Yes, right. that's, <laughs> well, that's how Yairo was introduced into the Ripper versus dropping him right on his head. Yeah, yeah. It damaged him pretty good too. Put him in the hospital. <laughs> so, yep. Which is what yep. intrigued me about her from day one. I was like, okay, because yep. um, Isom's supposed to be powerful, and yet this chick, she just takes and drops him on his head, and yeah. So. Yep. Give me just a moment. My dog's ringing the bell, and if I don't let him out, I don't want to clean up poop in the house. Yeah, I don't blink. All right. So going on, um, let me get my book out. Um, I don't have set up for the camera like Stephen does, but I just wanted to take a look inside of it real quick here. Um, yes, Yaira is very powerful and um, very intriguing. Uh, I, I'd have to say right now, the only character that's been as much intriguing as Ira to me is Bloodruth, which is kind of funny. It's both the female characters that are intriguing. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry. So I, I was just saying, Stephen, that uh, um, Yaira was so intriguing to me, but now the next intriguing character is Bloodruth. And I. Yeah. I kind of find it funny that the female characters are the ones that are most intriguing to me. You should get that $5 poster with all the female characters on it. Uh, well, I, I got the $5 uh, blood Ruth t-shirt. So nah, nice. <laughs> it's funny. Cause I had my Yara t-shirt before I had the Yara book too. <laughs> nice. So, Very nice. But uh, I, I'm excited about blood Ruth. I, I think she's going to be a good character. Or the yep. blood Ruth and horsemen. Yes. Horsemen. Well, you know, uh, I, I don't know. I'm more excited. Maybe I'm more excited about horsemen just because I feel horsemen is probably going to be very similar to Batman. And, you know, I have a huge You're love a big for Batman. Batman. Well, a huge Batman fan. The, the funny thing is, I don't think it matters because we're going to end up buying both anyway. <laughs> well, this is, this is, but I like the way blood Ruth was introduced because uh, she was introduced in Isom too. And her and Isom are fighting off these demons and stuff. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Well, oh, we, we're just turned this to another rip of episode. I don't care. It's fun. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I, I, she reminds me of more kind of in the realm of like, uh, Constantine or, oh, uh, the, good like, comparison. like DC dark, you know, dark yeah. justice kind of stuff. Um, or oh, maybe League dark. Maybe that's our team up. Team up, Yaira and Blood Ruth. Uh, fire and ice, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll get it all. But I think the thing with with uh, with Blood Ruth, it's I'm hoping it's all supernatural realm stuff because everybody knows that's my that's my cup of tea. I love the supernatural realm stuff. Well, so, considering the Soska sisters are writing her, I would say it's going to dive into that realm, that heavily. horror, supernatural horror. Right. Right. And yes. and the way she was introduced fighting off demons, I mean, yeah, I think that's where you have to take that character. Mm -hmm. You know, um it, she has this whole voodoo background to her and everything. Yeah, it's going to be dark. It, it, um and I think that's why the Soska sisters are right here cuz they are all about horror. This is to me this seems like a slightly departure from from their uh normal forte. Uh, Yaira does to me. Um, yeah, blood, blood Ruth seems like it's going to be hope, no, really, hope, hope, bloody. Oh, <laughs> I got a feeling it's going to be very blood. Have you ever seen anything the Soska sisters have done? 
<laughs> Everything they do has, some, well, with the exception of Black Widow. Black Widow didn't have a lot of blood in it, but which I just picked that up recently, by the way. Nice. Very nice. Trying to do some homework on them. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Well, why pray tell? Ah, there's a hint, everybody. <laughs> I'm okay. keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> uh, Listener, we uh we we love um we love the Ripiverse. Um and with Yaira. So let me show some of the covers uh or some of the, the some of the art. There's a couple of art pieces. Oh, the art is fantastic in this. Um yeah, but wait, wait, my blood back for back you. The cover. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's a little bit of blood. Go back to the cover. Who was the artist in, in this one? Uh, Deborah Cartia or Carita, Carita. Yeah, okay. yeah Deborah. Because I want to make sure and give Deborah yeah. because the emphasis is on the so it's Deborah. I'm sorry, okay. um, Carita. Oh, it, it's hard to see it. Sorry, my camera is there. It goes. There we go. Deborah. Deborah Carita. Carita. Yeah. I hope. I'm, I hope we're saying that way. We're probably murdering her name. I'm so sorry. We have great respect because it's it's incredible work. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Here, Here's there's a, a better. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, totally agree. Yes. I, I haven't seen a book yet that's not been beautiful. And uh, they're yes. consistent too. They they all look like they're from the same from the same universe, too. Yeah. Um, they've done a great job of matching each other's art and just style and stuff like that. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful work. And, and, you know, artwork is very important with a comic book. Um, I mean, your story is is equally important, but if your art is terrible, chances are you're not going to buy the book. You yeah. know, but if you got a you know, if you got a book with beautiful art and a great story, oh, you, you've won the lottery now, right there. I, I, I want to talk about the art here just for a second, because if you notice at first I thought, oh, something's wrong with my book or something like that. But no, they're in a cold area. And if you notice whoever is speaking, they're trying to give the sense of frost breath as they're speaking. You know, I didn't, of, even, I didn't even pay attention to that. So where they're at, at uh, pro, uh, uh, I can't even say the word now, projectus, uh, the, the lab. The lab, <laughs> but where uh, where Progeus, uh, where where they're at, um, it's cold in that facility because it's a cryogenic place, and so yeah. I was like that that detail. I thought the artwork detail was fabulous, but that detail just kind of threw it over the over the top for me. I thought that was great. Mm. On that, oh, so, so good. good. So um, let me see. I had my favorites. I'm, I'm wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back to where they're in in the the lab area, whatever, where they have that that uh, that meeting. So yeah, right there. So the characters, right there, all three characters, they were featured in the live action in, in the live action promo for this book. Oh, that's right. And and they look great. I mean, they look just like. The character, the, the people they did it. Dick looks just like the characters. And Sosuke Sosuke sisters directed the. I was just going to say action, that right? Sosuke okay. sisters directed okay. it. So, so if you haven't seen it, go back and look at that. Actually, we we did a, a little thing on that. Um, I don't know which episode we did that in, but yeah. Uh, there's a uh, there's I, I'm moving it because I don't want to I, I don't want to give all the stuff away, kind of a thing. But there's, yeah, because we want you to go buy it. <laughs> We do want you to go buy it because it's worth buying. Um, there was a great one panel kind of a thing. Ha ha ha. I'll just do this one panel. Oh, this yes. Was, yeah. And you've got Ripiverse Comics as a sign down here. Yep. Um, but this this huge scene where she comes out and she's like, Kaboom! That's she's a, that is beautiful. Bringing up an ice storm, kind of a thing. So, this was a double panel. I was like, "That's is so good." So, that's the only double panel I'll show. There, there's other great, <laughs> great big panels that I, I, we want you to, we want to support Ripaverse. We want to encourage you to support Ripaverse because it is it 
what Eric July is doing is reminding me of what comics were when I was a kid. Agreed. It was it was all about the storytelling. It wasn't about putting any kind of agenda per se within them. Um, it wasn't a kind of trying to say, oh, we need to teach you something. It's just good telling of heroes and villains and the struggles that they face and how they overcome them. Okay, so no for anybody asked, how did they find the actress to play Yaira? Um, the answer is, I don't know, but I'm hoping to find out for you. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. She was tall. He said, yeah, that's correct. The character is tall, which see. Agreed. Yes, now, she was. It, if I can, I'm going to use that. Thank you, nobody for anybody, because that's an addendum item to add to. The glasses just don't work because you've got someone who's super tall, well, not super tall, but I mean, tall and very you know within the story very attractive and stuff and then all they have to do is put glasses on and oh my goodness where did Yaira go oh there's she could almost play an amazon <laughs> well yes and that's some of the backstory everybody not that she was an amazon but there's an interesting part of her backstory is really good that they they introduce so yes <laughs> we so we love what eric july is doing with the rip averse it is the he's remembering the customer first that's their first priority they want to make sure they give great story great artwork and so far i have not been disappointed at all no i haven't either and like you said it, it reminds me of reading comic books when i was a kid um because it was all about the story it was about having fun you know and that's that's what the Riververse has been so far. It's it's all story and and fun, just good old fashioned superhero fun. That's and that's what I want in my books. Those are my favorite books. You know, mm -hmm. not the ones that are pushing in an agenda or a, a political view or you know some kind of view. I I, mm -hmm. I want a good story. Yeah. Um, for instance, uh, right now, you know, DC and Marvel have been extremely political um they've had agendas but every now and then you get some really good stories mm -hmm. and uh right now i've been reading the the new batman and robin series uh with uh timothy drake or not timothy drake with uh um yeah what's his face damien damien thank you why couldn't damien i think of that? it has damien wayne in it as robin and it's really working on Bruce and Damien's relationship and, and Ooh. their relationship as both father and son and their relationship as Batman and Robin is the dynamic duo. Right. And it's, it's not mm. pushed an agenda. It's all been about the two of them. And I've really enjoyed it. It's actually made me like Damien more. And, um, in the what? past, I, yes, <laughs> I have a love hate relationship with that little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, uh, I, really I, <laughs> I really do have a love hate relationship with him. Uh, but, you know, th this story has been really good. I've enjoyed it. So when you get a good story, yeah, that's when I want to read your books, not when you're pushing agendas. And that's not what Ripaverse does. They do not push agendas over there. It's all about about the story and great characters and building a a, a a really fun universe. That's that's all it's been about, and that's what it should be about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Well, I um, it, it is about the storytelling. It's I think for me is I, I mean I understand you want to bring in real world situations and stuff and you know but i don't want real world situations the whole reason i do comics is because i want to escape real world situations i live in the real world i don't like it <laughs> yeah i don't i don't need it in my comic books i want to see i want to see heroes fight for truth justice you and know the american way, way. <laughs> as soon as i said i was like yeah i think there's a sense i want to see the bad Good guys sam with betty's from australia so <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think there's a sense that I, I want to see uh, there's enough what I term personally injustice in the world today. And, 
And, you know, the great thing about comics and the great thing about storytelling is I see those characters, you know, rise against the injustice kind of a thing. I always do. I'm, I'm, I'm part of another group uh, that I there's a community for. And we were doing an interview of an author of a book and um, who was talking about the grief process and things like that. And she said in her anger stage of the grief process, she really got into reading books and especially about protagonist would blow up half the city <laughs> because of writing the wrongs of what happened. And, and in the interview, I asked her, I said, that was Jack Reacher, wasn't it? She goes, yes, <laughs> it was Jack Reacher. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome that you picked up on that. That is great. <laughs> well, I haven't read any of Jack Reacher's the Jack Reacher's books, but I I have watched the first two seasons of the television series, and I got to say, it's I love right. it. It's a, he, it's a great series. Um, a Alan Richmond is the actor because he was in was it, he was he played uh, in uh, I first saw him. He was in the in, Titans. In the Titans, but he was yeah. also the Flash in the uh, old Smallville show. And Smallville, he? he played he played the Flash. I uh, no oh, no 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 Aquaman. He played Aquaman. Aquaman. Okay, I was gonna say the Flash was like a kid. Um, yeah, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. It was the it was. But anyway, I think his rendition of Jack Reacher is better than. Wait a minute, it's what? It's much more better, more better. than Tom Cruise's Jack Reacher. Not saying Tom Cruise was bad, but I do like Alan Richmond's portrayal better and that storytelling better. Well, I, I never watched the Tom Cruise version of, of uh, Reacher. Um, Ooh, I, you should. Really? Should I? Should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. You won't, I mean, you've already seen the other TV shows. So, I mean, the Amazon show. So, I would say that, I mean, it's you're going to be like, well, it's not as good. But you'll still get more lore about that character. Okay. And, and he did. And he does a good job. The The only issue, and this was the issue a lot of fans had with, with Tom Cruise playing the character. He acts the character great, fantastic, does a great job with it. He's just not the size. That's the issue. <laughs> well, I, I was introduced to that actor through Titans, and he played Hawk in Titans. And I thought he was perfect in Titans. In fact, um, both my wife and I were, pretty upset that he died in in the titan series you know spoiler but I, spoiler, yeah, spoiler. it's been um, out for a while <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's, it's been out for a bit now he got um, killed a long time ago in a galaxy yeah. far far away <laughs> wrong franchise dude anyway <laughs> anyway uh um but yeah, I thought he was perfect as Hawk. I loved him as Hawk. So yeah. when I found out he was playing Reacher, and I didn't even know anything about the show, I'm like, oh, I'm watching just just to watch him. I I'll watch. You know, we should, we should do it. if you guys want us to do an episode on on Reacher, let us know. I think we did. <laughs> I think we did on season two, but we, we did, did do season one, didn't we? I don't That's know. where my brain went. Sorry, we did one of them. We, we did two. We, we did, did season two. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for season three. I, I think well, it's now, becoming. Well, now that Paramount Studios closed, oh, yeah. um, it moves over to, uh, is it CBS Studios or ABC Studios or something like that? CBS I Studios. CBS. I think, I think it is. ABC is, is Disney, so I think it's CBS. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. And he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That was my wife's comment, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't swing that way, but he is a good-looking guy. <laughs> so, oh my hey. goodness. Well, hey everybody, we're going to round out the show. We're so thankful that you joined us. Great conversations. Nobody for anybody. Great to meet you. Thanks so much for yes, joining thank us. Thank you. Um, good to have you here with us. <laughs> A lot of fun input too, by the way. Nobody for anybody. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> lots of great, great input. So, um, so, uh, everybody, I just want to remind you real quick, if you would, uh, please check out, we are an affiliate, uh, sponsorship with glitch and, uh, glitch. If you want to get, 
uh, 10% off, go ahead and use the code two geeks, um, for your code. If you want to try out now, if you never have, sometimes they have better deals that go on openly. Sometimes if you're, it's a, if you're first time, they'll do a special like 15% off or, you know, 20% off. But if you decide to order more, go ahead and get it, which we really enjoy it. I have found that my, the best way to do it is to get their, we got the cups with the yep. trial packs or the sampler pack, excuse me, or you can just buy the sampler pack on its own. If you already have your own cup and um, the sampler cup, pack, the cup is fun. Though. The cup is fun. In, the dark. Um, in their sampler, uh, in the sampler pack. Oh, Hey, nobody for anybody. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate you, man. Thank oh, you. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you again with us. Uh, so uh, with with Glitch Energy, um, it's a great energy drink. I don't get the crash at all with these. Uh, I haven't had caffeine in two days because I've cut out soda, period. And, uh, and so <laughs> I, I have not done one. And so right now I'm not jittery. Even after I have no caffeine after two days, I'm not jittery or anything like that. So I enjoy it. The sampler pack are the best flavors. I do have... This one's what I'm drinking is the Karen Tears version. It's great because I got it because I love grape drinks. Um, it is okay, but the sampler pack ones are better. I will say that. And I'm drinking I, Maui Punch today. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. And then I did get a canister of the Revive, which is their, uh, what's the word? Where uh, hydration. Uh, hydration. Thank you, Megan. Thank you so much. This one is the... Uh, cherry limeade one. Yeah, don't get it. <laughs> it doesn't taste like cherry limeade, but it's not bad. But if you're expecting cherry limeade, you'll be disappointed. I was. Um, <laughs> but it is a hydration drink versus an energy drink. So it's got oh, that. We'd have, we'd have pissed off our sponsor, Steve. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. That's just, I'm being open and honest. People want to know open and honesty. And I'm being honest, you know, so for me. <laughs> but if you guys like Cherry Lime and you want to try it, you go right ahead. There you go. There you <laughs> go. And so I, I can tell you for a fact that Maui Punch is delicious and Smurf Juice is the best. <laughs> Gargamel was right. Just smash up those Smurf Smurf Juice is really yeah. good. Smurf juice is really good. Yeah. He was that right for hunting those little blue creatures down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I've I've been happy with really all of their flavors are good. Uh for for the energy drinks. They are very good. Um all the ones that I've tried, uh, which yeah. is all the sampler packs. So you get like four different ones in the sampler pack. Uh the Maui Punch, Smurf Juice, which is really good. Um Smurf Juice is a good one. Um, gosh, I can't think of the other ones off the top of my head. Of all of them, we've got, yeah. we've got, we've got the tubs of Maui, the Maui Punch, the Smurf Juice, and uh, uh, skill tests, skill, skill issues, or skill issues. I thought skill test. Okay, that's a good one too. I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah. bomb pop, <laughs> right? That's the yeah. flavor, right? It's supposed to be bomb pop. So you know the old uh, bomb pops that you got yeah. from the from the ice cream truck, you know. Yes, yes. Well, hey, everybody, please check us out on our website at twogeeksmike.com, twogeeksmike.com, the number two, G-E-E-K-S-M-I-C.com. Um, that's where you get all things. That's the hub. So that will take you to all kinds of different places on our website. It will take you also to our Kofi page. If you want to support us, we have a $1 tier, a $2 tier, and a $3 tier. All that money really just goes to uh, help pay for the show for all the all the stuff we need to pay for in order to do the show. And we just have a great time with it. Uh, we are doing some special stuff um, for our Kofi subscribers, such as we will have up today the full cover reveal of Mike's book, uh, with the immor immortality code, the immortality code. So we we are in the process stages now of now that it's done and edited, we are formatting and getting ready to put it on Kindle, uh, or not Kindle, just KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing on Amazon. So, um, pretty excited about that. Also, if you want to check out our merch page, two geeks mike merch dot com, two geeks mike merch dot com, um, that's also direct. 
direct link to, we've got some fun t-shirts and you can do it with mugs and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, we're working on some more shirts and stuff for that as well, which will be fun. Uh, if you want to reach us, check us out at show at two geeks, Mike.com. Mike does a great job of monitoring that email because if I need to get a hold of him, I will send the email to that email, not his normal email. <laughs> so I just say, <laughs> you know, it's funny because I really had to pay close attention to my personal email because that's how I've been interacting with Caro from Ripaverse is through my wow. personal email. So yeah, this this last couple weeks have been yeah, check, 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 check. Have I heard back from her? Have I heard back from her? That's anyway. funny. All right, man. Well, that's it for my part. All right. So mm -hmm. if you made it this far, please make sure and go and like and subscribe to us. Be cool like uh, 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 our friend, uh, nobody for anybody <laughs> who just subscribed to us. Um, give us a big thumbs up uh, on, on the videos because the – YouTube algorithm likes that kind of stuff. And if you ring that bell, you'll get notified of every time we go live. Speaking of going live, we go live every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. You do the math because I don't like math. Also, make sure and give us a like on Facebook and follow us over on Facebook. I try to post uh, funny memes, uh, any information about the show, uh, you know, upcoming information. Like last week, for instance, since we were off, I put a little reminder that we would not be going live last Saturday morning. Um, and when it comes to my camping trip, I'll probably do the same. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless for some reason, Stephen decides to go live without me. <laughs> uh, and I maybe, think that's all maybe. I got. <laughs> all right, man. Well, Hey everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here on two geeks and a microphone. And we really appreciate it. Mike, I'll let you finish doing the. All right. Um, so with that said, uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, make sure and don't Steven skip this episode or any of our episodes <laughs> because we are much more better than the rest. <laughs>